Okay, guys, Tommy B. I'm going to try to give you all some pointers about, you know, starting 350QX and your, the, the way things you need to watch out on your Radio 4 and the way it needs to be setting and set, you know, the way it needs to be set up or setting. Um, the way it should be in order for it to crank. Okay, this is a Mode 2 radio and that means that throttle and rudder are on the left controls are on the right okay and this is pitch is four and aft roll or y'all is left and right okay this is throttle up and down rudder left and right this is the one this is the stick that you use to start 350QX okay now we're going to talk a little bit about certain um, stick position prior to binding a 350QX this will be to bind it and whenever you bind a 350QX you cut it on initializes light goes to binding mode rapid blue flash is binding mode okay in order to bind with GPS off I'm in a metal building I'm sitting it's on my sitting on my work table so of course the obvious I want to bind it with GPS off that is hold control stick over right center lift up bind switch or press bind button turn on radio stay back a couple of feet makes one beep let go of bind button second beep let go of control button Quad initializes, goes in to no GPS mode, which is a steady flashing green light, and that is in what's called safe mode, which has a circumference safe circle around it, and the quad won't come back into the safe circle. Your dimensions and all that are all in the, the, the manual. Okay, now we're gonna I'm gonna show you how to start one. Okay, now say if the quad was binded in GPS mode, that would have three time flashed till it eventually locked, and that would have been GPS lock. The light would be a solid green, and you would give it at least 30 seconds after it becomes solid green, sitting on the ground, let it acquire as many satellites as it's going to prior to starting it. Okay, then when you start it, you got to make sure all your trims on your radio are to zero. Or when you go to move something, or a trim's off, it will beep. firmware came out there was a second technique for starting one I myself I don't think I've ever used that technique because th the way I did it was the original one for the V1 and, and the early V2s and I, I don't think I ever tried this technique but supposedly you can go light air right there 
let go, and it crank. Oh, you see it crank. I didn't know mine would do that. Try it again. Oops. Yeah, I really don't like that technique right there because you got to have both hands to do that. And I don't really think that's too cool. And then if you're not careful about it and you're fingering around with the controls, brr, you know, you've done blow the quad up and it's went down the street there, run into something or crashed. Um, personally, myself, this is the way I've always done it. And it's...